Hello, hello, this is Wigbert Caro, aka Module Octopus, and also part of the electronic duo Dice Motion. I am here to showcase a brief demo into how C Sound for Live works in production. And uh, I have here a small little electro track uh, to show you what a certain technique I've been doing with uh, synth layering. And just to give you a brief introduction, CSUN for Live is a new set of plugins that integrates an actual coding interface called CSound. With Maximus P as a front end, you're able to create this user-friendly interfaces such as you see right here. And instead of having to code everything by hand, you have access to them as just normal plugins as you would with Ableton. So special thanks to Coleman O'Reilly and Dr. Richard Boulanger for providing this technology and opening a whole new world of possibilities in terms of sound design and production. And I will love to show you some of brief techniques into how it applies with uh, this song right here. It's called C Commander and it's a very basic electro track. I wanted to showcase how layering synths in with CSound for Live proves to be quite an effective method to get new, original, or just like unique sounds. So here we go. I'll show you briefly, and it's pretty straightforward. I don't have to play this song all the way through, so you'll get the idea pretty quick. So here we go. <laughs> Everything's pretty easy to understand, and um, I do suggest that if you want to listen to a high-quality version of this song, there should be a download link below on this video. And also for the sake of being able to broadcast and also have Ableton open, I froze a lot of these tracks, so, so you know, I w would be, uh, if you are interested, I would be down doing an actual live set which you can download and then manipulate in your own way. But in the meantime, I'll go from top to bottom and go by real quick into what I did. Um, just here we have a normal kick loop with multiband dynamics in place. Uh, operator giving sub presence to the kick. Here we got the 707 kits from Ableton in itself and I have my own little dynamic tweaking in there. They're mostly being used for snares. Here we have the hi-hat group, which is a sidechain compressed to the kick and the snare. And it's basically audio data, just to simplify the mind. And over here we have another hi-hat loop, and we start integrating its two new little widgets for CSUN for Live. We got the spectral masking plugin that has a really good sort of audio degrading effect, which I integrated in this little section here, which I'll show you briefly. Logic does have its own version of this effect, and now I'm glad that Ableton finally has been granted access with it through CSound for Live. Over here we got a little waveguide reverb that all it really is is a really simple reverb, uh, strictly made out of code, and with an XY interface you're able to automate the left and right of it, and if not, I'd give it a little high pass. But for this application, it works very good for very quick atmospheric procedures. So let's see where I integrated this. And you can see it's here in the same loop. So 
just play it for you again real briefly and showcase. And that's what I love about C Sound for Live is very simple and practical uh, effects for you to play with. Just them alone is not as impressive as putting them in combination. So um, another thing I also applied it with was just the sound effects, which is also does a spectral freeze. And spectral freeze is very similar to granulizing audio and I will demonstrate with this loop right here I would actually take it off for a brief moment so you can listen to the original sample here we go now with the spectral freeze on we have this effect in motion So we could listen to the whole granular quality of the effect, and thanks to these types of small effects, you can take any sound effects loop that are quite generic and give them a little twist and create something even more original in the process. Did the same thing here with this other effect stem, and what I did was uh, I included the spectral blur, which is similar to the spectral freeze, only that you can pan things left and right just with the next Y feature and I added it in parallel to the dry signal of the effects I'll collapse it so you can see what I mean and I'll show you very briefly how the layering is working so here we go without it now here you are with it and now both combined So out of that, thing sounds way more dynamic and way more original in my opinion. <laughs>